Hey guys, Renzi here, bringing you guys back a new video. In today's video, I am bringing you guys somewhat of a review of Hollow Heavens. It's a newer Roblox game that is very, very underrated, and I think it has a lot of potential, but I also think it needs some work in some areas. Let's get into the video. So as I said, there's Wave Survival Story Mode testing place, and there's also two other things coming soon. I have no idea what they are, but I can't wait to see what happens. We're going to hop into the testing place real quick, I believe. So the testing place, you test all the guns and all coming stuff, not always up to date, so don't trust everything you see in the game. So let's hop into this real quick. What? <laughs> okay, so, oh, they actually like dummies and everything, so I'm assuming you can just go here and buy whatever you want. All right, all right. This is one thing I wish uh, the Kang Winter had. I think uh, all games can benefit from this well. Look at this. Jesus. Very self-explanatory what this is, what this is meant for. I think other games should have this in there so you can test out weapons and everything. But yeah, we're going to hop into the story mode next. All right, so now we're hopping into the story mode. I did peek, take a peek at this a little bit ago. I believe there's like three acts. Yeah, chapter one, the apartment, chapter two, shopping center, and chapter three, evacuation. I'm just going to do chapter one in this video. I don't want to, you know, spoil anything for you guys just in case there's something like if there's like a deep story in this. And I kind of want you guys to experience it for yourself. So we'll go chapter one apartment. We'll go normal difficulty and we'll play. Let's see how let's see if I'm good at this game or if I'm a complete dog. So it seems we spawn in our apartment, you know, <laughs> this this is this is the definition of single. Oh, we got Kermit. We got Kermit the Frog. G get me out of here. I don't care. Objective check on Dan. I don't know who Dan is. I did cut out all the part of them talking with the dialogue at the bottom, just so, just in case, if you guys want to check this out, you won't get spoiled. Um, let's see, we got Kermit the Frog, we got Kermit the Frog, we got a pumpkin, and then uh, we got the cat, sheesh. Oh my, this man is a man of culture. I can tell you what, is that a, is that a cat girl? Dan, what are you doing, Dan? Oh my, do I just have to take, put him out of his misery? Oh, I do. Bro, we got Albert stuff in this joint. All right. Can we, oh, dude, I just saw that. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That scared the piss out of me, yeah. Get dookie done. Oh, what the <laughs> Bro, what, what going on out here, bro? Why is that on fire? No, he said, wait, I think the dialogue said it was a red one. Dude, good night. Let's get out of here. Please, someone, we get to drive the whip. That was it. All right, so now we're gonna hop into the wave survival part. I think for this one, I'm just gonna go solo. Yeah, I've, oh, this is uh, kind of sick. I can't lie, this is kind of sick. So this is just basic, uh, you know, wave survival type of game. You got the zombies coming at you. I'm just gonna just, just spray them down. Um, This game isn't as hard, unless I've changed it. This game isn't as hard as Decaying Winter, but it's still, I think it's got a good starting point, at least with the story mode, because I, I kind of wish a lot of games like this had like a somewhat of a story mode, just something extra instead of, you know, surviving waves after waves after waves. I think this is trying to branch out there, this game is, and I think it, I think it's doing it the right way. I think it's just, we need to see more. I definitely think this game mode needs to be quicker and a little bit harder. I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to. You know, not trying to throw shade at the devs or anything, but I feel like if your game's going to be mainly focused around this wave-based survival, I think it needs to be a little bit more challenging. Because even at, like, let's say, like, Wave 4 on Decaying Winter, you know, you're you're already, like, sweating trying to make sure you're not dead. Like, in this, like, the zombie, like, you run faster than the zombies, and you can literally just do this until you know you win which is wave 10 wait tell me it ain't so oh my god dan's tacos the amogus oh my god so basically i have like the i am god in this game i can just keep doing this okay i've died no big deal but i i think i think this game has a ton of potential like i said in the beginning of this video it has a ton of potential, but I think the wave base part still needs some work. And I was kind of expecting more from the chapter one mission. But, you know, I think it's a really good base to build off of and for the future of the game. I'm still going to keep track of the game. I'm in their Discord, I believe. I almost died, Jesus. I'm in their Discord, I believe. Yeah, I am. I see it right there. 
I'm going to keep track of the game. I think it has a lot of potential, but I think the wave base needs less RNG with the med kits and the ammo crates. And I believe, uh, I, I, I don't think there should be a way to cheese the melee system like there is in that where you can just keep running in circles and basically be untouchable. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys want to see more content like this, leave a game down in the comment section of what you what game you want to see me review and everything. Like I said, I think this game has a ton, a ton of potential, but it does need some tweaks. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace. Give me a second to rack it up. Feels like I've been waiting a second to fuck it up.